So what's up sim racers and racing fans, this is Sharma here and today I will be demonstrating you with the new DLC for the Assetto Corsa Competizioni with the Challengers pack. So, so on the okay. single player race menu you will see, if you click on this uh, GT World Challenge, you will see one open series. There you will get all the new cars to play the Challengers mode. So if you go to add, you will see all of these cars. Okay. So first of all there is the Audi R8. LMS Evo 2 this is the one this is the Audi and the second one is the BMW which is right under 2020 CS2 racing and the third one is the Ferrari it's the 488 Challenger Challenge Evo and the Lamborghini Huracan ST this is the this is the one uh, the Challenger ST first we have the Porsche 911 GT3 922 so it's this one, the Porsche 922 GT3. Okay, so these are all the new cars. So first of all, we'll start with the Audi R8 LMS Evo 2. Okay, this feels smooth. Oh my god, the handling is so great. But the speed is very low. It's not even reaching its full potential. Okay. I lost a little bit of grip down there. And okay, I'm on track. top end will be very low this is the Audi R8 LMS even trail braking oh my god Sessional and horribly, but still, yeah, this car has some potential for starters. Especially if you are new to this game, yeah, it will be so much fun to drive. Okay, again, it has a very low top speed. I think the top speed is will be around 180 185. I'll push it, I'll take the top speed, then I will end the session and start with another car. Okay, okay, that's better, that's better. It has a very good sense of control. I think TC and ABS are both turned off. Very horrible app. I think I have to shift a little bit later. Long shift will actually take me to the top speed. is actually the turn of death Sixth gear, there's a sixth gear, and I can't even reach sixth gear. See, okay, so that's uh, enough for this car. I didn't like it because 
it has uh, again this is not a high end car the top speed is very low But this car has some speed. Going to hundred. Okay, the braking is better. Okay, this is good. The braking is good. Acceleration is not that great. I thought the challenger pack would be a bit more aggressive. But these cars aren't aggressive and the braking is also so horrible. Okay, this the BMW is actually holding it up. See what I can do with this challenger pack. It's just a name and a DLC so that you can buy it and spend some money on it. I feel like why did I even buy it? There's nothing promising. Even stock cars are better than this. But at least this car is going to 100. Mercedes in the old Assetto Corsa, that is even better, it has great acceleration. like the inverted chicane I'm just checking the acceleration speed third gear 150 second gear 90 even my 100 cc bike does better this was under control now let's check the top speed tire just wobbles for no reason well, this car well, I think 200 is the only limit again we'll stop here and start with our next car the display is so good Okay, the Ferrari is aggressive. I like it already.
this car is uh, this is the only car I think which is under control and also aggressive grip going on so especially on especially on old tires oh, there's a seventh gear oh my god I didn't even knew oh, the braking is so good I thought I brake just like the last vehicle, the last car, the BMW, now I'll we'll check the top speed. Okay, this was smooth, uh, this is the, I think this is by far the best car in the challenge pack. Let's see, there are two more cars. That's it. Okay. So this is for the Ferrari. Reach to 40. That's great. Tire pressure. Oh, under control. Okay, let's raise them. Third gear already. Took a lot of power. We're actually progressing towards from the good to the better okay Not bad, but the sequence it is given, the cars are given in a sequence, like from the first it's Audi, then the BMW, then the Ferrari, then the Huracan, I think this is the sequence we should all drive in, because we are actually progressing towards the better vehicle. Now I think this one has more aggressive nature, even aggressive than my girlfriend. already feeling it this is though this is aggressive but I'm still having this feeling that she would be great even I cannot even feel my girlfriend sometimes not the first I sometimes switch to the first gear in the tight corner so that I can accelerate quickly on second gear also you can accelerate but there will be some issues there's only, there's only six gear only it's 194 easily, I'm reaching 194 easily I'm reaching 200, okay Check on the top speed after the chicken, chicken, not the chicken, chicken. Ah. It's very tricky. 
only after 8000 RPM I'm shifting. Well, this Lambo has a lot of power. I'm already 184. Can I reach 250? 230? 245 to 47 okay that's 247 that's the maximum and now at last we'll check on with the Porsche the Challenger pack I think this will be a challenge 50 kilometers per hour the fit speed I think this car will do above 250 247 was the last Oh my god. Oh my god. There is no TC on this car. Already 187. 215. 236 only. Okay. The, AB, uh, the ABS is actually doing great. Okay, a lot of oversteer, but this is great. Not bad, I would say. It's like more like a drift car. So this is pretty much smooth by now. Okay, a little bit out, but still manageable. We have ABS, so we can brake late. But this car doesn't have traction control. Your rear tire can slip pretty easily if you, if you don't control your acceleration. It's like a V turn, not a U turn. Pole tires easily try, easily slips a lot. Okay, this was better. Now let's check our top speed. Can it beat the Lambo? 49, 5 to 49. Okay, okay, we hit it, we hit it. But I think it's 249 and 250. So that's all for the Challenger pack. I hope you really enjoyed it and now let's check our top speeds in each of okay lap time you have to check the lap time so that's all for today's video i hope you really enjoyed it if you are new to my channel please feel free to subscribe and press the bell icon to receive notifications in time i try to make engaging racing content for all of you guys so please uh and that too on a budget the things which you are seeing isn't some hi-fi stuff even some high-end stuff it's all on a budget 
you can also build that too. I'll try to make the video on how I made all my racing setup. So till then, stay tuned uh, for more updates. And I'll hopefully I'll see you on my next video. Till then, peace out.